Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. You're gonna see this orange mass sitting here. This is my dog, Penny. <laughs> she, uh, you know, she has separation anxiety, so she wanted to be with me in today's video. Today's video topic is something that I've been talking about on my channel for a long time and that I've been promising to film and I am so excited to film it today. So we are going to be talking about my journey with eczema, my skin story with eczema, and the things that I did to help basically get rid of it for good and a bunch of product recommendations that I can offer you. I know that I primarily talk about acne on my channel because I've dealt with acne most recently, but in my life I have had a slew of skin problems ranging all the way from eczema to perioral dermatitis. I've had fungal acne, I've had unexplained rashes. Truly I've had just about everything and if you guys want more content on the different skin conditions I've had and how I helped fix them, please let me know in the comments. I would be happy Happy to make those videos. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. We talk about more than just my skin conditions on this channel. We talk about mental health, beauty, vlogging, skincare. We do a lot and I would love to have you join. All right, let's travel back in time. We're in Indianapolis with a six-year-old Rudy and she has horrible, horrible redness on the crooks of her elbows. My mom is a nurse and she pretty much knew right away something was off, went to the doctor and was diagnosed with eczema as a child. My struggle with eczema has come and gone many, many times since then, but pretty much every winter it comes back in some capacity and on a different area of my body. The main places that I have struggled with eczema have been obviously the crooks of my elbows, behind my knees, on my lower back, and on the crooks of my neck. For many years leading up to college, I just used my steroid cream, which was prescribed from my dermatologist growing up, and it helped get rid of the problem momentarily, and then it would always come back. If you don't know a lot about steroids and prescription steroids, steroids help get rid of irritation basically by attacking it and it helps in the short term, but it's not a long-term solution to help with any skin condition really. But I, as a 19 year old, didn't know that and I continue to use my steroids way more than I was supposed to. And that's another thing that I feel like needs to be talked about in the dermatology world is the fact that we are prescribed a lot of things but not really told how to use them or how not to use them. And so I just used it every time I noticed something was getting red or itchy and I started using it almost every single day. You're really not supposed to use a steroid cream more than every day for two weeks at a time and then you need to give yourself a break because your skin can get conditioned, it thins your skin out, it can make you susceptible to sunburns easily. They're just a lot of reasons why you don't want to continue to apply steroids for a long time. Again, as I said, I didn't know this and by the time I moved to Nashville and I was in my early 20s, I was applying my steroid cream constantly. I was applying it to my elbows. I was applying it to the back of my knees. I was applying it to my neck. It just was a little out of control. So here is what happened that changed everything for me. I started noticing small little red dots around my mouth. This was in maybe 2016. And having no knowledge of skincare at the time, I was like, oh, I'll just put my steroid creams on it. And if you are a big skincare fanatic or you have eczema, you know how dangerous it is to apply steroid cream to your face. It is not recommended. Dermatologists tell you never to use it on your face. And there are a lot of reasons why. I didn't know that. I didn't even really know that my, my cream was a steroid. I just knew that it was something that I was supposed to help with my eczema. And so I started applying my cream, my steroid cream, around my mouth to the small spots that I was getting. And it would help for a few days and then it would get worse. And then it would help for a few days and then it would get worse. And I finally went into the dermatologist and was like, what is this? What's going on? Honestly, together we really couldn't figure it out and so I started doing my own research after being prescribed antifungal treatments that made it worse, after being prescribed tretinoin that made it worse. I think we both understood that this was not acne and it was something very different. Me being the person that I am, I started researching like a crazy woman and I pretty much found very quickly that I was dealing with steroid induced perioral dermatitis. This essentially means that when I was applying my steroid cream to my neck or wherever and I wasn't washing my hands and then I would put my makeup on, I had been applying little bits of steroids to my face for months and then when I started applying it directly to my face, it caused a dermatitis reaction that you get from wearing steroids on your face. Face. Obviously, the number one thing to do when this happens if you're having steroid induced perioral dermatitis is to stop using the steroids. So I stopped using steroids cold turkey. It was a huge shift in my eczema and in my life. My perioral dermatitis 
flared like crazy because my skin was literally in drug withdrawals and then it cleared completely no bumps no redness a lot of the acne on my face went away because my skin was so irritated from using steroids but because of that my eczema flared more than ever it became embarrassing I noticed these huge welts on the back of my legs to the point where I was scratching my legs so hard that I was scarring, I was bruising, and I was bleeding inside my sheets at night because I could not stop scratching. At that point, I had sworn off steroids forever. I was like, I don't need steroids to handle this. I can figure this out. And I went through so many different things to try and fix it that really none of them worked. Applying coconut oil, applying a body butter, applying this, that, none of it really worked. And honestly, I didn't get it under control until I started watching Dr. Dre's videos. I started researching eczema just like I was researching my perioral dermatitis because I wanted a way to fix it without using steroids. And I have a different relationship with steroids now and we'll get into that. But I pretty much found a routine in my life, in my body care, that has almost eradicated eczema from my life. And I wanna share those tips with you and I wanna share these very, very inexpensive products that have helped me along the way. So the first thing that I did was go back to the dermatologist to talk about what was happening with my body because I knew that what I was trying to do at home was not working. The back of my knees were starting to scar. They were sweating and hurting constantly and I was just in pain. So I went back in and I'm not kidding you. Of course, they prescribed a steroid and this is how much they gave me. <laughs> this is my steroid cream and this is a tub. I mean, for someone who was scarred from using steroids, scarred because I was so nervous about perioral dermatitis, they prescribed me a tub this big. It's about as big as my head. And I was like, okay, well, I guess it's pretty bad. <laughs> I will never go through this. I can't imagine, like, I can't imagine anyone ever going through this much steroid cream. This is insane. Back to the point, she prescribes me the steroid cream and I was like, I really don't wanna use that. I've had such bad experience with perioral dermatitis. Like, please, what do I do? And she was like, you need to use this for the recommended time, the way you're supposed to use it, and then we'll talk about body care and how to help it from coming back. So I did it. I used the steroid cream and within two weeks, the eczema was gone because that's what steroids do. As I mentioned, the problem with steroids is that the cream does not keep it from coming back. After you have eradicated it because of your giant ass tub of steroids, it's your job now to take care of your skin and hydrate your skin so that it can actually stay calm. If you're watching this video, I assume you already know what eczema is, but if you are just curious and wondering, eczema is basically when your skin is so insanely dry, it cannot hold on to any moisture and it causes redness, drying, rashes. It's just a really uncomfortable, very itchy and dry experience. So because our sensitive and dry body skin cannot hold on to water, we have to fill it with water and clamp it and suck that water in and really put something on top to make sure that it does not evaporate, which is the biggest problem that people with eczema have. So I dove into all of this research, watching Dr. Dre videos, learning about how to keep moisture in the skin. And this is my perfect routine that I have started doing. This may not work for you, but if you are at a loss of what to do and how to help your body eczema, these are the tips and the products that I wanna recommend you try out. If it doesn't work for you, I totally understand but give it a shot and let me know if it makes a difference. So first off, we have to eradicate the eczema originally, which is through a steroid treatment. If you're an anti-steroid, I understand you can try the rest of these tips afterwards and see if it helps, which it will, but getting rid of that initial rash is gonna be very important. So we've got the steroid cream, we use it very minimally and we wash our hands after use. When you have eczema, you really have to take into consideration your entire routine, your hair care, your makeup, your body care, the, the detergent you use, and make sure that it is eczema friendly. So this body wash, for example, is what I use every time that I have a eczema flare up. This is the CeraVe eczema body wash. It is very bland, you know, there's no scent to it, which is what you want. It's very thin but it's gonna help you wash your body and also help your eczema from flaring. What you'll notice here is it is accepted by the National Eczema Association. I'm gonna put this logo up on the screen so you guys can see it larger. It is very important that whatever you decide to buy for your eczema, it is accepted by the National Eczema Association because there are a lot of companies that are gonna say that their eczema is safe, 
but really they're not. So CeraVe is always my number one recommended brand. It's what I was, you know, recommended by the dermatologist. Dr. Dre recommends it. So we've got our steroids. We're gonna start using a body wash that is National Eczema Association certified. Get rid of all of the drying, fragrant body washes that you have. Then we need to focus on the moisture part of our skin. So you just took a shower, you just took a bath. One, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's not too hot of water, which I know is so hard because it feels really good to kind of burn your skin. And I know that sounds crazy, but if you have bad eczema, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to want to immediately cover your legs in a very thick, cream. So this is the CeraVe moisturizing cream, again, accepted by the National Eczema Association. I buy these from Costco in a huge tub. And the moment that I get out of the shower, I slather my body in this cream. And this is the thing that has kept my eczema from coming back. The one thing, if you can only do one thing in this video, you don't have access to steroids. You don't want to change up too much. When your body is wet after the shower, cover it in a nice, thick, fragrance-free, eczema association approved cream. That is going to bind all that water from your shower into your skin and keep it from evaporating during the night, during the day, and keep your legs from getting itchy, your arms, wherever you have your eczema. That is the number one tip that I can tell you that has changed my life when it comes to my eczema care. And if you are in the throes of your eczema, it's so, so bad, you cannot stand it, you, you're you itching, you, you have your ointment on, all these things, and you don't want it rubbing in your bed, you need one of these. I will add the link for this down below, but this is essentially an eczema association certified wrap that you put on. For me, it was on my arms that you pull up over the area where you're dealing with the worst eczema and you sleep with this on so that you're not tempted to scratch at it. You're not tempted to not use your stuff because you don't want to roll around and get it all over your bed. This is going to protect your skin and also keep that moisture in your body and help it from evaporating during the night. They come in different sizes. They come in kid sizes as well. So I will make sure to link those down below. You can get one or a pack and they have been very helpful in keeping my body very moisturized and keeping me from itching it in the night when I don't even realize I'm doing that. A couple other product recommendations. If the itch is absolutely too much for you, you can't handle it, absolutely have been there. Again, we're back with CeraVe. This is the CeraVe Itch Relief Moisturizing Cream, steroid free, and it is also approved by the National Eczema Association. I don't know how many times I can say that, but this is a cream that is safe for your eczema that helps with the itch. And I know how bad it can be. I really do. It's important that you get the itch under control because the more you itch, the worse it gets. They claim here that it's two minute relief and it helps within eight hours of using it. You, like it helps you for up to eight hours. And I would have to say, absolutely, this does help. This comes in a cream and it also comes in a lotion. It's just really good to have on hand if you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't handle the itch right now. You could use this instead of this on a night, but I wouldn't just use this one on its own. You're gonna wanna make sure you're adding in a normal moisturizer as well because you don't wanna get addicted to the anti-itch cream. A couple more things here. This is my Vanaply ointment. I have talked to you guys about this in a couple different routines. This is free of dyes, fragrance, lanolin, parabens, preservatives, of course, it's National Eczema Association approved. This is just a clear balm that if your skin is so incredibly dry that you, you're, let's say that you, you put on your cream on your wet skin and it sucks it right up and you're like, okay, well it's dry again because I, my skin is so dry, it's just sucking up the moisture. You're gonna wanna put something like this on top of that. I would not recommend putting this on top of you know your entire body, but those really dry cracked spots, this is perfect for that, to suck in and even hold in your cream. And it's also a great alternative to use during the day when you don't have access to taking a shower, getting all wet, and then getting this on. What you'll do is put on a little bit of lotion, you know, like an eczema approved lotion, and then you'll put the Vanaply ointment on top to to seal that moisture into your skin. This is very inexpensive. Works amazingly on the lips as well, so can be used on the face if you deal with face eczema. And the very last thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is something that's really new and innovative, and it's from a brand called Tower 28, and this is their SOS spray, their Save Your Skin spray. So this is a hypochlorous acid spray, which is not super popular in skincare yet, but I think it will be. Again, it is approved by the National Eczema Association 
Association for use on the face, on the body. One of my very good friends deals with eczema on her eyelids and on her hands and she uses this with great success. I use this on my face to help with hives and irritation. I use this when my eczema starts to flare. It is completely colorless, fragrantless, and hypochlorous acid has been really well documented to help with skin flares and with eczema on the body. So if you need some quick relief, then you can spray this during the day on your eczema or over weeks time, but you do want to apply this to your dry skin. And this comes in a travel size and a full size bottle. And here I am about four years later and I have not had an eczema flare in over two years at this point. And I really do think that these tips have become such a game changer for me. I encourage you to do your own research, see what works for you. If you have access to a dermatologist, I think it's a great idea to get in contact and ask them what they might think about your routine or if you need to use a steroid cream because of the severity of your eczema. These are all good questions to talk to a licensed dermatologist about. I hope I've been able to help you in some way today. Let me know if you have any questions on the products, on my story, on anything uh, eczema related or skincare related down below. I am always happy to answer your questions and let me know if you want more videos on the other skin conditions that I've dealt with in my life because we could make a whole series out of that. We have got more skin loving content coming up in the next few weeks and I can't wait to see you guys then.